Welcome back, everybody, to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host, T. Please like, share, and subscribe this video, and let's talk in the comments. I do not have any more links in the description. I have no more social media for my channel. I'm just going to put all my energy into my channel. If you're looking for me, find me here. Now, moving on. This video is about love after lockup. I was just, I don't know, I think I saw a commercial or something for this the other day, and I ended up talking to somebody about it. You know, I was like, why the fuck is that on TV? You know, I never watched it. I have no interest in watching that shit. I have never watched that bullshit. And I refuse to even let my motherfucking eye chakras land on that bullshit. Like, no. There's no way I'm even going to like... You know what I'm saying? Like the eyes are the windows to the soul. I'm not even going to open up my windows to view the bullshit programming that is love after lockup. And I'm just sitting here like, why is a people like, why do my people support this? Like, why? Why are y'all watching love after lockup? Like, is, is it that down bad? Is it that down bad? Are we that down bad as a society that we have nothing else better to watch than love after lockup? And... You know, I get it. Like, it's junk TV, and some people just want television that they don't even, like, have to think about. Or, And, and some of y'all, unfortunately, sitting at home can uh, relate to the bullshit that's going on because, you know, you fucking with felons and whatever, whatever. Okay. But here's my problem with it. My problem is I think it's just negative programming for black women. Like, I don't want black women watching that, like, thinking that that's okay, um, associating with that, accepting that, like, it promotes struggle love. It promotes, like, just pure insanity, and like black women, I'm a black woman. I can only speak for us. Black women have already accepted too much jailbird bullshit. We've already accepted too much struggle love. That shit has been normalized in our community for long enough. You know, holding a nigga down when he go to jail and all of this whole shit. Like we don't, that shit shouldn't even be like, Ever something that we accept you know I know that we've been under like intense circumstances as a people and people have had to make certain decisions that I've never been in and and, and, and in, in situations that I've never been in and I couldn't imagine myself being in but I just feel like again some of this bullshit is being glamorized and normalized and overall like as a community, we just got to teach our women better that we don't accept struggle love, jailbird love. Like, we just not here for that shit. And I just can't believe that this show has been on for this long. Because when I looked it up on Wikipedia, they saying that this shit been around since 2018. And it's like, it's 2023. This show is, um, you know, going on its number of seasons. Like, I'm seeing something about season fucking seven. Like, how has this show, let me see, like, yeah, they saying season seven of this shit, child, I don't know, this shit is crazy, like, I, this shit is insane, I can't believe that, like, we just, again, we just accepting this as a society, and, like, black people know that we should be fucking writing like <clears throat> we shouldn't be like entertaining this watching this like nothing now wikipedia they say there's four seasons of it but i don't it should have never made it past the pilot like because here's the thing the, the people the evil motherfuckers who run television programming they think oh yeah black people they're gonna accept anything you know they're gonna just let anything slide on tv and any kind of programming that we give them, they're going to accept. And that's because we've shown them that we accept anything. Like, damn near, you can damn near have anything on TV if it has black, a black audience or black folks watching it. So, 
I'm not feeling this bullshit. Like, I just feel like um, my, my, my black women don't need to be watching this. This is horrible programming. You know, there's a lot of crazy shit that goes on in jail. And it's like, there's already enough issues in the black community with STDs and, D and DL behavior. And like black women just don't need to be seeing programming and even finding it entertaining to watch people, you know what I'm saying? Just be in these whack ass relationships with people who are felons and felons need love too, but that shit don't need to be on TV. You know, people deal, there are people who are really dealing with that shit real life. You know, they got people who are with somebody who, who has a felony, who that person is successful despite their felony. They started a business, you know, they do anything. But it's just like, you know, that is really not usually how it turns out. And black women are rising. We don't need television that, you know what I'm saying, just is promoting us settling for anything that's lame, that's whack, and that's not on the you know, come up. So I think the programming is negative and toxic and it's very low vibrational. And I just can't believe again that as a society, we didn't allowed this to go on for so long. We didn't watch this shit to the point that they have seasons of it, you know, like absolutely not. I'm just telling my black women to protect your health and um, first and foremost, whether the nigga is in jail or not, protect your health, but Definitely protect your mind, protect the things that you like, protect the your entertainment diet. Like consuming this negative shit is a no-go. Um, participating in it, entertaining it is a no-go. Pen pals is a no-go. Like it's not it's not cool. Like, it's just really not. We have enough black women. I'm like, why are we doing the pen pal shit? Go out and find you a man. It is so possible. But I might do another video following up, you know, because I have some unpopular opinions about, you know, even why some black women entertain some of this shit. So I might do that next, but Anyway, y'all, let's talk in the comments. Love After Lockup should not be on TV. More programming that we don't need as, as a society, along with many other TV shows like Love & Hip Hop, Baddies, Bad Girls Club, all of that whack-ass shit. We have got to revolt against poisonous programming, just like them whole-ass Kardashian shit that have been on TV for so long. So let's talk about it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.